ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel for some more WWE 2K22 My Rise Part 2. And in the last episode, we just got done beating up Old Man Michaels. And it looks like now he wants to have a conversation with us. So we're going to see what he has to say. But before I get into this, of course, as always, guys, if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this video, make sure you guys do go ahead and smash that like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel guys to help me get the 30k subscribers and don't forget to turn the post notification bell on as well to always get notified of more awesome content coming your way and if you always want to make sure you're going to get a notification because we know youtube doesn't always send out notifications let's be real here okay join my discord link will be down below in the comment section it will be the pin comment but anyways guys now we're ready now let's get into this and now let's see what Shawn michaels has to say here we go i'll hand it to you took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring i said i was gonna make an impact and that's exactly what i did it was a risk and also a bit of a shortcut from my experience those two things don't always work out but this one did didn't it i guess so since triple h just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed Said he was impressed. Could he be keeping an eye on you? All right. Good well, stuff. there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. <laughs> Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. <laughs> now I'm paying the price. Told you, he's old man Michaels. Just keep in mind, this is one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. <laughs> All right, so old man Michaels. That was interesting. I was not expecting my guy to want to take on Shawn Michaels, right? Anyways, let's see what Paragon J. Pierce has to say. Ugh, this guy's a jerk. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. Ah, shut up. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? Uh, obviously, somebody better than you. I think I'm the top prospect now. Exactly. No. Just because you caught an old-timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. <laughs> that title uh, still belongs to me, and everyone here knows it. This guy is such a dick. I That's can't stand him. Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in <laughs> mind going forward. <laughs> oh, man. He's such a dick. I can't stand him. Anyways, that was interesting, though. I cannot wait to see where this story progresses. And uh, hopefully I won't be stuck on, like, you know, or stuck in the performance center too long. You know, I know there's many different ways this story could actually go for my rise. So I'm really hoping that I can make it onto the main roster pretty quick and also win a championship, too, pretty quick. You know, that would be very nice. Anyways, we got Road Dog now. Let's see what Road Dog has to say. Just so you know. I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things around here. So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. Ah, I see what you did there, Road Dog. Ha ha ha, very funny. Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Exactly. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Are you saying you want me in a match? Damn straight. You and me today, one on one. I mean, I beat the hell out of old man Michaels. I'll beat the hell out of old man Road Dog too. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to say I'll beat another Hall of Famer. I don't know what you think you're going to accomplish, but I'm going to beat another Hall of Famer. And if you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Too bad. <laughs> I like it. That was awesome. All right, this is a storyline confirmation prompt that will give you information on the storyline, including the potential rewards gained on completion. You always have the option to confirm or back out of a storyline through this prompt. Okay, well, um, I guess we're going to, yeah, we're going to go yes, obviously. <laughs> obviously, we want to beat the shit out of old man Road Dog now, right? So let's do it. Let's freaking do it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and what's your favorite thing so far, guys, about 2K22? Like, what are you enjoying the most? Is it the gameplay, the graphics? Is it, you know, maybe the game modes like My Rise, GM? Let me know, guys. My faction's even cool, too, so there's always that. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do it. 
I still don't like how ugly my character looks. Like, I thought I nailed him when I first made him. And then when I was starting to look at him from certain angles, I'm like, my guy looks hideous, man. Like, y'all know that I am a little hideous in real life, but I ain't that hideous. Like, my character just makes me look so bad. Like, dead on, he looks okay. But, like, from, like, a side angle, side view, he just does not look very good. All right. I just completely missed there. All right. Let's try to... Okay. My guy's really slow. Guy's very slow. He wrestles like an old man. All right. All right. So, this match might be over before we know it. Who knows? But he does have three finishers, which is not very good. At least not for me, anyways. Good for him, not good for me. All right, should we try to do it? Okay, he countered that. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Should we try to go for a dirty pin on him? Maybe. Sometimes the dirty pins are always effective. We can't actually do it from where I was at. We'll just let him out, because he's going to kick out anyways. All right, once we get him by the ropes again, and we get him down pretty good, then we'll try to go for, like, a dirty pin or something. All right, maybe now. Let's try it. Oh, he didn't... Why didn't he do it? I hit the buttons. Why did he not do the dirty pin? Gosh darn you. <laughs> I know I pressed the right buttons. Oof. That would literally hurt in real life, just taking multiple shoes to the face. Just scuffing the shoe against your opponent's face. That would hurt. That would not feel pretty. All right, set him in the corner. Oh, never mind. He got tired and he collapsed and he got right back up, though. All right, we countered. All right. I just love, I love to keep sending him in the corner and just beating the shit out of him in the corner. I don't know why. It's just fun. Oh, he counters me. He counters me, ladies and gentlemen. Throws me right down. All right, we dumped him out. We use weapons. I kind of want to beat the crap out of him with like a steel chair or something. One. All right, we're going for a charge finisher. Then we'll send him back in and we'll try to pin him. All right, here we go. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, let's send him back in. He is stunned. Three. Now maybe we can attempt the dirty pin. Maybe, oh, I didn't want to do that. Gosh darn it, no. Cancel, cancel. I didn't want to do that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We can't do the dirty pin. He's too far away. <laughs> oh, man. It is what it is, though. All right. Let's knock him out. I don't know why I want to go for a dirty pin so bad. I just feel like a badass when I do. Ah, oh, we won anyways. There we go. We didn't even need the dirty pin after all. We beat him fair and square. There we go. All right. So, that's that. And uh, now he's probably going to be really mad at me, but I don't really care. We are absolutely destroying these Hall of Famers here. We beat Old Man Michaels in the last one. We just beat Road Dog now. And uh, they got to be moving me to the main roster soon, right? I'm, I'm the legend killer. I'm the new legend killer here, guys, okay? I am the new freaking legend killer here. All right, I'm really curious to see what he's going to say next. Once we load in, come on. Come on, we don't got all day here for this. And your boy Noel does not feel like doing a lot of editing, so we're just kind of rolling with the, the raw footage here, ladies and gentlemen. The Monday night raw footage. All right, let's see what he says. Tango una gran oportunidad. A what? Tea. That's Spanish for I got a big opportunity for well, you. That's what I like to hear. Uh, your Spanish is terrible. Attempt to speak. Sp Should I do it? Let's do it. Let's attempt to speak Spanish back. Estoy interesado. Not bad, right? Pero de Camilo. Anyway, <laughs> what's the opportunity that all about? All right. WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. Oh, I don't so really want to do that either. <laughs> we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. I mean, uh... I don't know what I want to do here, guys. Should we do it? Should we just focus on my training here? I really don't know, like, where the story will progress if I accept this. I'm kind of interested in seeing, maybe, but I don't know. I mean, let's just say I'd rather focus on my training here. 
I'd rather focus on my training. Because I kind of want to just go to the main we'll roster, you know? Next time. It's the guy's retirement show. There's not oh. going to be a next time. Hmm. Well. When it comes to wrestling yeah, retirements, <laughs> there's always a next time. Yeah, that is true. I mean, you see how many people retire, then come back, retire, then come back, right? Like, seriously. I don't know. It just, like, it sounded kind of interesting. I kind of wanted to know where the story was going to go, but then it was like, eh, I don't know. All right, here's old man Michaels. Let's talk to him. So, Road Dog and I were thinking, since apparently you want to stand out so much around here, that we should come up with some new ways to challenge you. Hmm, okay. What you have in mind? One of my favorites is what I'm calling show up or throw up. Hmm. Basically... You have to do 500 squats Whoa. and then wrestle chase without throwing up. <laughs> um, should I say I want a normal match? Let's go with I want a normal match. I think I'd rather skip the squats and show what I can do to chase in a normal match. Well, I don't have a catchy title for that, but if that's what you prefer, we'll make it happen. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded kind of weird, in my opinion. So let's just have a normal match. I don't want to show up, and I don't want to throw up. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just have a normal match here, guys, right? Let's skip the trip to Mexico, and let's just chill here and, and hopefully make it to that main roster very soon. Your boy, Noel, wants to make it there. He wants to get his hand on some gold, whether that's the Intercontinental Championship or the United States or the Universal or the World Heavyweight. Hell, maybe even the Tag Team Championships. I'll take any bit of gold I can get, right? All right, so let's beat the shit out of uh, Fake Edge here. <laughs> this was actually Ribby from 2K20. I can't believe that, but he looks like a knockoff generic Edge. And it's kind of hilarious. So, I just kicked the crud out of him and his stupid green shorts. You fake edge wannabe. Boot him right out. Oh, look at you with the damn stunner. Are you kidding me? You're not Stone Cold Steve Austin, damn it. I'm the closest thing to Stone Cold Steve Austin, you some bitch. Get off there. Get off there. Who the hell do you think you are, boy? All right, come on, dirty pin. There we go. Let's get it. One, two. two three. Yeah, we win with the dirty pin. Let's go. We got it, ladies and freaking gentlemen. That's what I like to see. We won with the dirty pin. Anyways, guys, I am back from that impressive victory over the fake edge. And uh, as you guys can see, I did upgrade my attributes here a little bit. So very satisfied there with that. And uh, I was looking to see if we could talk to Chase after that match. And unfortunately, he's nowhere to be found. So I don't really know. Anyways, guys, that's going to conclude episode two of my rise here on WWE 2K22. If you guys did go on to enjoy the video, once again, make sure you guys do smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel turn that post notification bell on join my discord server down below in the comment section and i'll see you guys all in the next one take it easy and see you later